Welcome to My Chefing. My name is Chef Fred, and this is Lexi Chefian. How are we doing today? Well, today, we are going to make mm -hmm. a mushroom salad for you. So this is for all my vegan and vegetarian lovers here. Now, I know it has cheese, Parmesan cheese, and for my vegan, you guys can get vegan Parmesan cheese, or you can add no cheese to it, but everything else is to your taste with delight. Now, those who are meat lovers like myself, the great thing about mushroom is that it has a umami sensation. Umami is a Japanese word. And umami, it makes you, it, what it means is that it gives you that meaty sensation, and mushroom does that for you. Gives you that meaty sensation. A lot of people who are usually vegetarians or vegans, they tend to eat mushroom for the substitute of their meats. And so we have two kinds of mushrooms that we roasted here. And I have, even though this is done here, I'm gonna go through the whole play by play, a smaller portion to kind of show you what we did. And we have our portobello mushrooms, which is like the meatiest, and we have our white mushrooms as well. So we're gonna slice them and we're gonna roast them. And then we're gonna cook our little bit of pasta here. The baby little pasta, because really the star here is the mushrooms. So we're full of nutrition here, and I'm gonna give you the vitamin content. But in the meantime, before we get there, Ian's already boiling our chicken stock. Now, you can use vegetable stock. If for my vegans or vegetarian, you don't have to use chicken stock. And again, if you don't have chicken stock, listen, water, salt, black pepper, a little olive oil, avocado oil works just as good. I just like that extra flavor, so I use chicken stock. Our arugula has vitamin C, K, folate, and magnesium. Our lemon zest, which also has some lemon juice, has vitamin C, and it's a great source of fiber. We have our mushroom, which is the star of the show, which has vitamins B1, which is iron, B2, niacin, and we also have shallots, which has vitamins A and folate. And we have garlic, which has vitamin B6, C, folate, and potassium. We also then have our pasta, which has vitamins B, folate, thiamine, niacin, and riboflavin. And we have butter, which has vitamins A, D, E, B12, and K. And we also have our Shea Parmesan, which has vitamins A, B6, and B12. So I've already mixed here our pasta that was cooked, our peas and carrots, and the arugula. It's not a whole bunch of arugula, again, because this is just an example. I'm showing you because I showed you the salad that was prepared earlier. And also the side of the show is the mushrooms anyway. Yes, the salad part is the arugula. So now what I'm, since I've already done this, Ian's gonna put together the salad dressing. Okay. And so Ian has chicken broth here. Yes, I'm gonna start with the chicken broth. Yep. Okay. It's a creamy yes. dressing. You wanna do your mayo? No, I want to do... You want to do... No? Okay, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, I want to do this. What's that? It's uh, the lemon... The lemon juice, yeah. okay. Now... Yeah, okay, you want to... Okay. Yeah, a little more wine. Okay, you Let's have do the some... white wine. White wine? Yes, I want to do my white wine. Now, I will do... Okay, now you do your mayo. Do mayo. you do your... Yes. Dijon. Yes. Mm. Look at that. Going right down hey. perfectly. You sure love mayo, huh, E? Yeah. Too much? No, that's oh. okay. Go ahead. I, I You're put, almost done, so. Yeah, I put enough in there. If for not, it. I'm sure you'll take it to drink. Like I always get <laughs> mama. You, he yeah. always drinks my extra dressings because he loves them. He's like, you need a bottle of them. You bottle them you for know? me already. I'll so, buy it for a drink instead of for the, you know, for the salads. Okay. So uh, here go you go, your honey Dijon. Dijon, yeah. Okay. Dijon. And we're gonna get something really nice here. We're gonna use, mm -hmm. Maple. and this is just to kind of like even out the acid from the wine and from the lemon juice that we have. A little maple syrup. So a little maple syrup. Yes. So let's get the garlic. 
Okay, a little you know we got to do. Yeah, then you got to put your a little bit of your salt, salt and pepper. Yes. Salt and pepper. Salt and peppers. All right, we got that. Okay, we're going to do the, uh, let me put this here. Just, you know, give it like two loves. Two loves? You sure two only loves. two? Well, I know you always try to go an yeah. extra love or half or something. Well, the paws, you know, these you big know. paws. Yeah, I'll give it a little zit. All right. We'll go with a little bit of Okay, pepper. Ian. Thank you, Mom. All right. Just now right. you gotta be careful with the pepper now, Ian, because you know you're the one that can't take the heat. You yeah. can't take that spicy. All right, there we go. That's enough pepper in there. All right. What about, you want me to sneak a little bit of that? Let's sneak in a little herb de Provence. Yeah, Why not? It's you. It's your Ooh. favorite. Get a little calmness in the lavender. Yes. For you too. <laughs> okay. So when you make me crazy at work, you know, <laughs> I think I'm gonna have a little lavender set in the side for you. But you want something to eat here? Yeah, have some lavender. lavender. Have some lavender. Okay, and we're ready to do it. All right. Give it a little twist. I love this little thing. This this little gadget is probably one of the best things I've seen. Let's lunge it up. There we go. Woo! Look at that! Look at that! Look at that! The best part about this model? Mm -hmm. It stops when it says it's ready. Yep. That is the best thing about it, for real. Yeah, it is. It, it you don't have to sit there. It all up. Mixes it up and says, okay, we're done. And the Parmesan here is when our, we have our mushrooms and we've already mixed it all up and we have our salad on it. The Parmesan is going to be our garnish on top of it. Well, actually, it's a two like layer process because we put some Parmesan inside in between and then put some more on the garnish. And again, if you are vegan, you can look for vegan Parmesan or omit it totally. Vegetarian, the same. So you can make an adjustment to this. Ooh, it stopped. Okay. We're ready. So test time will come once the mushroom is out of the oven and we yeah. mix it all up together. Sounds good to me. So we'll be right back. Wow. Well, as you see, mushrooms and spinach, some of these vegetables, they really don't amount to much once they cook. So we had a total of eight mushrooms that I had taken as an example and sliced them. It is fully cooked. It's beautifully roasted with the shallots and the garlic and, you know, the herb, the Provence that I had on it and the salt and black pepper. However, as you can see, it doesn't amount to much, but it is just enough for our small show and tell salad that I wanted to show you. So I'm just going to put this in the other bowl and put it together and then we'll come back and present it and taste it. Well, E, our salad is complete. Yes. Look at that beautiful mushroom. I cannot wait to taste this mm -hmm, mm -hmm. with the Parmesan. Mm. Can't ready to be a part of my mouth. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Oh, I'm gonna put a little dressing on my. Oh head. yes, let us do that. Yeah. This is a very liquid dressing. Yes, but I'll tell okay. you what, so liquid I could drink it. Oh boy, here we go. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Wow, look at all those mushrooms. You know I love mushrooms, Mama. I'll make sure I kind of get everything. Yeah. No bacon today for me, but that's okay because a mushroom is very meaty, so. This will work. Let me try to get some pasta in here. The pasta is so baby, so. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Mm -mm. <laughs> mm -mm. Mm -mm. I'm telling you. Oh my god. Wow. Mmm. Oh, wow. Mama. You gotta try this, guys. Seriously. If you eat yourself. mushrooms, this is your kind of dream. This is your dream salad. Mama, this is light and delicious. I'm you know really what, you're right. Even though it has that meaty sensation yeah. of the umami from the mushrooms, mm -hmm. it is not a heavy salad at all because the pasta is so fine, so little, so light. It just, you could really say it's just there to kind of give it color because you don't even really taste it. And the peas and carrots mm. add a nice little sweetness to it. Mm. It is absolutely delicious. This is a must try. It's, you know, it doesn't cost much to make. You know, you guys can really do this. And I hope that you do try it. Let us know in the comments if you tried it, what it came, you know, what different versions of mushrooms you used. Um, 
So we really want to hear from you. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to give us a virtual hug by clicking the like button. Be part and of our family. Of be part of, but doing that, become, you become part of, of our family. family. Um, also, hit the subscribe button mm -hmm. so you can know every time we put weekly content now. And share. Definitely. Sharing is caring. Yeah, exactly. And if you have someone in your life who loves mushroom, don't deprive them of this recipe. <sighs> share it with them. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today. We love you, and we'll see you soon. Have a nice day. Bye. Bye-bye.